Okay, so here we are. We've been testing Final Cut Pro 10.1 on the new Mac Pro at the fcp.co offices. Um, just to show you what I've got here, I've got a, a project all up and running with some media in the timeline. If I just go to the preferences, um, you'll see that for my playback preferences, I've turned my background render off just so that it doesn't automatically render anything that's in the timeline. And you'll also see that I've got my indicator on that if Final Cut Pro can't play something back and it drops a frame, it'll actually warn me that it's going to drop that, it has dropped that frame, and therefore it will stop the playback. Um, also, underneath the viewer menu, you'll actually see I've got the quality set to better performance. Um, reason for this is I'm dealing with red raw material and I don't have a red rocket card, so again, this is the next best thing to enable real-time playback. Um, over here in the browser, you'll see that I've got a clip, uh, working with this clip here. Uh, this is a 4K file, running at 24 frames a second, and again, uh, the red code, uh, red raw codec. Um, I haven't transcoded this at all or optimized it in any way, so we are actually dealing with the native red code uh, raw file. Uh, if I come up to the film strip here, you can see that I can skim backwards and forwards across this file with no delay, no lag at all. If I play, it plays back in real time, and I can jog and shuttle backwards and forwards through that clip again. No delay. It's it, it's so smooth in terms of the responsiveness of the system. It's it's almost like dealing with HD. Um, I've taken that clip um, and I've placed it into a project um, using the automatic settings for the project. So the actual project itself is uh, a 4K project uh, running at uh, 24 frames per second. Um, if I skim this project here, you can see um, what I've actually done is I've added a few effects um, to this clip here in the uh, timeline. If I play this back, um, again, you'll see that it's playing back. Uh, no drop frame indicator has appeared, so it is playing this back frame for frame in real time. If we take a look up here in the inspector, you can see the sorts of effects that I've added. Uh, this is not necessarily a, a, an effect that you want to recreate, but just purely out of interest. Um, here's the number of effects that we've got. So we've got 50s TV, 1, Add Noise, 2, Aged Film, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and it's still playing. 11, <laughs> 12, 13, <laughs> 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, <laughs> and the thing is still playing back in real time. I think that's quite impressive. I think that's more than impressive. The only reason why we've stopped is we've got a deadline looming to get an article out. <laughs> <laughs> so just remind me, how many effects were there? 18. 18, and that's starting from the top of the effects, the filters, and just work, was... working through. That was going through and adding them one at a time. So that's 18 effects on 4K Red Raw on the new Mac Pro with Final Cut Pro 10.1. Pretty amazing.